Serengeti golf courses were officially opened in 2009 by the icon himself, Jack Nicklaus. With Jack Nicklaus being the best golfer in the world today, with his 18 majors, I think he gives a certain exclusivity to the golf course. He's designed 300 golf courses worldwide. And I really think that his experience in doing these golf courses really makes a golf course what it is. So if the pin's here, if you're going to stop your second shot here, if the pin's here, you're going to put your second shot down here. Or they take it in over this little, just, a little, just enough in the little pop bunker to have it in there. We just make, make the mounting, bring it in, in a little bit like that. Your fairway just comes in and, in other words, rather than having it go off low, bring the, bring the mounting, rather than a straight line of mounting, bring the mounting into that spot right there to contain the right side of the fairway. And let's just say you don't quite carry this bunker. And I put it on the right side of this bunker. All of a sudden, I'm better off by hitting a worse shot than I am by hitting a good shot. So if we put another bunker right in here, then all of a sudden a bad shot is actually penalized. You've got plenty of fairway to play to out here. And, you got, and, and, and as much as you want to carry, if you want to carry this, then you've got a situation where you can do so. It's got a different look and feel to all the other courses he's done in South Africa. He's got, certainly the bunkers are looking different. It's a, more of a rugged feel to the bunkers. The green certainly also different. It's got a lot of slopes to it. And that really is the, the ultimate difference between the courses that he's had and the courses that he's designed here. The extra wide corridors were designed to keep the golf course as far as possible from the houses. It also allows the homeowner to have privacy and uh, not to have as many broken windows as any other estate. For me, the best thing about the way they've done this is that the golf course is lower than the houses. So from a house perspective, you get the view of the golf course, but you don't have golfers walking straight past your window. So you've still got the privacy, but with the view and with the openness and all the rest of it. If there's something I like about Serengeti, it must be the fact that it's so green and lush. I love grass and uh, I think that wide open spaces together with the green grass actually stands out for me. The grasses we've got here at Serengeti is what they call a rye grass with a fescue mix in the fairways, Kentucky blue in the rough, and then we've got bent grass greens and bent grass tees. Tea boxes at Serengeti is what they've made out of a Jack and T1 bent grass. Sometimes the tea boxes run better than the greens. Jack's designed a 27 old golf course at uh, Serengeti now. The, um, the Masai Mara is our championship golf course, which is our 18 old golf course. And the nine hole golf course is called the Whistling Thorn Golf Course. We are the only 27 hole golf course in Gauteng, and also ourselves with five other courses are the only Jack Nicholas signature courses, the others being Pekinwood, Samola, St Francis Lynx, Pearl Valley, and recently opened Houghton. The Masai Mara really has very undulating fairways, it's got the rugged bunker feel. It's also got very undulating greens and the Whistling Thorn has got more of a, a resorty kind of feel. It's got more clean cut bunkers and the greens are also less slopey. So it makes it uh, very playable for the members. You know, you've, you've obviously got the main golf course and then you've got a social night. What's nice about Serengeti is let's say on a Sunday afternoon there's nothing to do. We get on the nine holes, you pitch and play and that is quite relaxing. Golf Academy is run by our teaching professional with the bioconeticist and uh, psychologist and physiotherapist. They can utilize the gym that we've also got at the academy to make the golfers into future stars. We've got a driving range facility which is 400 meters long. It's got two separate tee boxes. It's got two at the side of the clubhouse and on the other side of the driving range is another two tiers. It's got exactly the same grass as on the tee boxes as the golf course itself. It's got all the facilities you need, chipping greens, there's bunkers. We've also got staff on the range that really, really helps and, and looks after the members and visitors on the range. I love golf. To me, Serengeti is golf and the race is a bonus. My husband has so many golf days here with his friends. Playing golf, five o'clock in the afternoon, nine holes, what a pleasure. I think the golfing experience that you get at Serengeti is second to none. I don't think you get it in South Africa. 
from coming through the main gate to playing golf with the beer that you receive for free after your round of golf to going upstairs with the food we've got. I think the experience really, really is what sets us apart.